Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk all about endometriosis and the keto. Is the keto diet good for you? What the ketosis even means and how does it affect your endometriosis in long term? So uh, stay till the end because some good stuff are coming. As you can see, we are in my kitchen because I'm just about to cook things for my husband. Plus, it's very miserable in Scotland, you know. The lights goes down at 4 p.m. and I don't have choice even though I've got the lighting thing. Ah, you see? <laughs> that was the lighting thing you have. So we are in my kitchen. Let's dive in. Endometriosis and ketosis. Basically, a lot of you have been wondering what is the ketosis benefits. And some of you even try it. And you might be thinking like, Yola, I really try. I had good effects with keto and then I'm trying to stick to it, but I do have a problems. And you know, I, I it, it really worked, but now I, I just cannot, you know, stick with it. And I'm just left like, I don't know what to do. So I'm here to bring you some news girl. First of all, if you experience already some good results with keto, it's because it's because keto diets got a lot of vegetables which means a lot of uh, antioxidants a lot of uh, anti-inflammatory food so this effect is not just because the keto diet is so amazing because if you remember uh, from my previous video i just mentioned that there's only one diet which is called the human diet and the rest they are just the marketing okay there's only really one diet <laughs> so if you experience some good effects with keto it just means vegetables are doing the good job okay but you have to keep in mind that there are a lot of things in keto diet which we girls with endometriosis shouldn't be consuming for example uh, dairy dairy is big no no and you know it's not only causing inflammation but it's also one of the main factors uh, according to the study which increase chances of developing uh, ovarian cyst yeah dairy and the caffeine i don't know if you knew it what is ketosis you might ask ketosis is a natural a process within our body basically we're getting energy from the two sources we're getting energy from uh, carbs or we're getting energy from the sugars mm? this is how our body is burning this and our body is burning energy from the carbs very very slowly which means like sustainable you know energy that's why all the people who are running marathons they are eating like for example sweet potatoes or pasta because they give them energy for a long period of time okay they don't get hungry very quickly and our body is getting energy from the sugar yes from the sugar for example from the fruits or artificial sugar which you shouldn't be doing by the way and when you're getting the energy from the sugars it means your body is burning this very quickly okay so what's happened if we eliminate all the sugar what will happen in our body hmm? when we don't eat any refined sugar and we don't eat any fruits hmm? what will happen our body will start producing ketones and basically your body is switching from burning sugars to burning fat and this is where the ketosis happened here this is the point the switch this is where the ketosis happened and if you maybe you know that you know you can actually order the keto stripes which can detect the exact point of the switch when the switch is happening in your body it they can it literally uh, detect the ketones in your body because you know your body starts producing it when it's switch to the ketosis state and it's absolutely natural so you might think oh my god the keto diet is so new blah blah no somebody just i, I told you that all the diets are just marketing girl seriously just marketing and with this one somebody saw the natural process of ketosis and just put the label on it as a keto diet and we are all falling from this so why it's working it's working because we as humans in general we are addicted on sugar we really really are think about it every single day we are consuming sugar is a drug is 
honestly my my humble opinion that the sugar industry should be regulated and even prosecuted for what they're doing to us seriously but that's topic for another video altogether so majority of us people living around the world we don't even know how the feeling of ketosis feels like we don't know because we don't experience this when was the last time when you didn't provide your body sugar like when you literally reduce the consumption of sugar when was the last time can you remember exactly you see what i mean so majority of us don't even experience being in natural state of ketosis our ancestor did because mind you, you know, it wasn't like now when you go into supermarket and you can buy the bananas and everything and everything. No, no, no. Our ancestors actually lived according to four seasons. Well, as in Europe, it depends where you live in the world. Basically, that was the time when they had a lot of uh, fruit and the winter comes. So not that much fruit and not that much sugar. So ketosis was actually something natural for our bodies and something natural for our ancestors. But now because we are living in the modern time where all everything is just up, basically, not many of us experiencing this state of ketosis. So why does it work? Because your body is wired to make it work. It's natural for your body to flip the switch because your ancestor been doing this all the time we just somehow forgot or we don't give our body enough opportunities to actually experience this state so that's why it works and it really honestly burns the fat yeah and a lot of people are using the keto diet to lose the weight which is not the good way because the it fucks up your hormones girl it honestly does and you have to be very careful when you actually using keto if you are using keto i have to be honest sometimes i do use it as a biohack but only for like three days maximum a month that's it just three days i'm off the sugar completely and then you know i'm just back of course uh, natural sugar not the refined sugar we women operate according to two rhythms seriously one is called a circadian rhythm circa is the circle and dia is a day it's our 24 hours a day uh, rhythm and another one is called infradian rhythm i went very deep in this one in my uh, three days challenge as well as this is specifically covered in my upcoming program too and i want you to actually go deep in this subject so i'm gonna recommend you alisa vt and watch the video here in youtube after this one watch the video alisa vt woman in impact because this video is must watch for every single woman in the world so from now i want you to understand that we've got two rhythms two rhythms and the second one is infradian rhythm which is our 28 days uh, rhythm basically our ovulation and our period you know all our menstrual cycle we need to understand how to crack the rhythms it means how to synchronize with our rhythms because if we are out of the sync with our rhythms our body is suffering that means illness and that means that all our hormones are all over, all over the place so it's very very important to actually synchronize with our natural rhythms and live like we're supposed to live like we are designed to live okay so pay attention now because this is very very important our infradian rhythm is designed to make us very open and very productive up to ovulation and then we're going on the mode which literally saves the energy in case of eventual pregnancy and the pregnancy is somewhere here so keeping this circle in mind we have to keep in mind how we eating how we exercising and literally what we're doing okay i'm not gonna talk here about productivity because that's the topic for just another video you know altogether. but i'm going to talk about the diet and why it's important 
if you want to do the keto just for like three days you know get off the sugar completely you can do it in the first you know part of your menstrual cycle so it's mean from your menstruation to your ovulation okay so if you want to do it do it then because in this period you will have naturally more energy you are more productive you are more open you can communicate with people uh, you know more easily in this moment you're burning uh, more calories because your metabolism is speeding up so summing up will the keto diet actually help me to heal my endometriosis the answer is no it won't uh, will the keto diet make me lose weight uh, answer is maybe because uh, you might lose the weight when you are on the state of ketosis, but then when you don't actually change your lifestyle and you continue to eating what you're eating, then this weight is gonna come back, like with every diet. That's why I told you that all the diets is BS, just marketing, and you should be aiming to literally implement long-lasting change and change your lifestyle completely. And I can help if you want, <laughs> but, keto diet you have to remember that the actually state of ketosis is absolutely natural for us we are meant to be in this state of ketosis for the short period of time not the long period of time okay and here what all these people who invented the keto, keto diet want you to believe that you can stay in state of ketosis forever and you can burn this fat forever this is not going to work our body are not designed to operate in this manner so i want you to make it like very very clear i want you to understand that keto as a literally biohack it's fine but carry on the keto diet for like months and sometimes years is actually can damage uh, not only your health but also your hormone and we really really don't want that I'm here uh, to suggest you that instead of looking on the keto diet, which gives you a short period result, you should honestly check my videos about anti-inflammatory diet and how I put my illness into remission because this, this thing, girl, this thing is gonna actually make the long impact, the long lasting change you really, really want to see. You don't want to just have the quick result and then just you know jump back on to the old place where you've been no you need to get healthy you need to get better and you need to actually stick to the things which work and your body knows exactly what work i hope that video helped if you've got any questions please just uh, you know uh, hit hit me in the comment section below as always uh, hit the like button subscribe and share it with others so other girls can come and we can all heal together because we are here to heal together